Hi friends, uh, let us discuss today uh, one of the most uh, common uh, mistake not only of beginners and one of the most important principles in programming which is expressed in words don't repeat yourself or abbreviated it's called dry principle all right uh, why it's so important uh, firstly because it's uh, as i said very common mistake uh, and uh, leading not only to large sheets of code and um, hard to detect mistakes uh, later if someone is mis mistyped misspelled etc and uh, also because uh, it's very important to learn from it we programmers we are lazy and if we uh, repeat something by copy pasting etc then it means we are not lazy enough and uh, who is not lazy enough is not yet enough uh, good for programming right so let's go uh, we uh, consider two uh, problems from our side called db uh, one uh, of them is uh, very simple it's about counting the vowel sounds in the in the text string uh, you may remember we are given text strings and we need to calculate how many letters a o u i e y are in those strings and uh, for example in the word abracadabra there are five vowels yeah in the pair three there are four etc etc uh, common uh, mistake uh, i see in solutions is like this you may see that uh, uh, the person is uh, using java the language which is considered uh, a bit advanced but uh, still uh, hits the same uh, the same mistake uh, trying to check for every every letter manually this of course is not very good uh, i dare say it's very bad just uh, just imagine if we need to count not vowels but consonants which are 20 in number right uh, it wouldn't be good solution uh, another another variant in python may look like these uh, with a little more uh, need formatting but uh, still it's uh, the same problem now uh, how we really do this we should uh, put all these letters uh, probably in some array or string let us try i uh, have a small leaf coding uh, session to see how it may work uh, i use a uh, console based editor so don't be much surprised uh, let us call it vowels which dot pi uh, we input the number of test cases right and then for for every of them we input the line Uh, right and for every every line we uh, check every letter forever every letter in line if a letter in for example in the in the string or uh, or uh, this could be spelled differently in array uh, right this uh, works for uh, for every uh, language not only for python i just leave this in common because uh, with string it's shorter of course and 
we need to increase counter we only need to zero fight somewhere right so now let's just print this and uh, that's all right uh, i hope that i uh, didn't make some mistakes let's try two lines uh abracadabra right there are three four everything everything wonderful so let's uh, see another more advanced example it's about about the problem life is simple uh here we use uh, some very famous game uh, where in the rectangle grid we have some uh, virtual organisms leave cells uh, which uh, can die or be, be good uh, beget new ones burn new ones uh, and there are some simple rules uh, if the cell has less uh, than leaf cell has less than two or uh, more than four neighbors among its eight neighbors then it dies in the next uh, move and uh, if empty cell has uh, exactly three neighbors like here then it uh, in it uh, the new cell uh, gets uh, born on the next a step so for example this configuration uh, changes to this one in the in the next step uh, very typical mistake here looks looks like this you see the our colleague is uh, is checking every neighbor cell by uh, mentioning direct coordinates and uh, it looks awful moreover that uh, he needs to he or she needs to check the side effects on the border of the field for example here it seems like we i may be mistaken because the variable names are very vague but it uh, seems like a k is the x coordinate really and um, on the borders we are only trying to check half of the of the neighbors and uh, this makes uh, us uh, have even more branches in this if and uh, really it's very very hard solution because if anywhere anywhere here is small mistake for example uh, mistyped um, indices or wrong value then it's very hard to find what what really went wrong right so uh, how do we do this uh, really let us already also switch to to our console and uh, and try i shall call it live fight uh, we by the uh, by the statement we just enter five lines each of seven um seven characters but as we don't want to hit the borders i will uh, use larger array larger array which i will call field let us uh, have it uh, uh, somewhere 15 lines of uh, 20 characters and uh, put our input in the middle How do we do this? Let us uh, use uh, zero for empty cell. Uh, let us uh, multiply this uh, array of single uh, cell by 12, for example, right? And uh, uh, let us uh, use it 15 times. Uh, there are many ways to do this, uh, really, or uh, in range of 15 for example like this uh, that would be rectangular field rectangular array right now we need to to fill it uh, let us have dedicated uh dedicated uh function for this or load field 
uh, it uh, will look like this. We have just five lines, yes. So for fabric uh, in range five uh, line input right and uh, for x in range seven that's also by problem statement if uh, line of x equals to x then only then field uh, field uh, aggregate plus uh, say plus five so that we do not uh, feel immediately at the border uh, and uh, x plus seven uh, is assigned uh, one a leaf single a leaf uh, cell uh, will be denoted by the value one uh, that's all for loading field and uh, next we need only to perform uh, to perform uh, five steps right let's create a similar uh, function for this make step all right and uh, here uh, it's even simpler i won't complete the code for this uh, problem to leave uh, something for you to do or to think but uh, here's the idea uh, for uh, aggregate in uh, range of say we don't want to check borders again uh, so it would be between 1 and uh, 14 something like this I may be mistaken but you uh, shall you will fix this right uh, for x in range 1 to to, to 19 all right let us calculate numbers uh, amount uh, in the separate let us put it, it in the third uh, function right uh, count count neighbors for given x given x right and uh, then if uh, field uh, of y, y and x uh, is uh, alive uh, then we do something uh, right and uh, else we also do something that's up to you to fill in we only let us uh, look at the count neighbors function yeah def count neighbors uh x aggregate how to do this we really need to check the small square three by three around the current cell that's very easy right uh for dx uh in minus one or one uh already also various ways to do this uh, but this may be very easy to understand uh, dy in uh, the same three values uh, count uh, plus the value in the field uh, aggregate plus dy and x plus dx right and uh, since we have zeros for empty cells and ones for leaf cells uh, then plus uh, would work like a charm we only only need to zerofy the counter first and then uh, we can either return uh, return uh, counter itself it of course will include the value of the of the cell in x y we can either subtract it or not it uh, 
it depends on how we shall calculate them here we can calculate uh, it's here for example right uh, for example like this um, Uh, it's very simple. That's all for for this problem. There is only to complete this implementation and I dare to leave it to you because I believe you are clever and sometimes more clever, far more clever than I. So good luck and uh, please uh, come again to see other our videos on better style of programming. Goodbye.